In Alberta, smoke from the wildfires is blowing south, triggering a special air quality statement for most of the province. Some evacuation orders have now been lifted. People are able to go home, some of them. But some are discovering damage and looting on their property. Neetu Garcha is in Fox Creek, northwest of Edmonton. Neetu, what's the situation there? Yeah, Donna, you can see the police blockade and road closure behind me here in Fox Creek. The community of about 2,000 is now in its 12th day of evacuation. Alberta wildfire officials tell us persistent hot, dry conditions mean fire activity in this area is flaring up. In Fox Creek, long haul drivers looking for gas along Highway 43 are turned away with few options for fueling up. Town officials say thick smoke in the area is making it difficult to monitor the wildfire's distance, but winds have pushed the flames towards the community. Heavy smoke rolled back into communities like Valley View, about 300 kilometers northwest of Edmonton Wednesday, after some clearer skies on Tuesday. In Grand Prairie, many people at this evacuation center are worried about their homes still under threat from the fires. There's been around 30 houses. It's not a final number. We just know 30 structures right now could go up. Some also lost personal belongings, not to the fires, but to looters. Alberta RCMP say new drone technology has helped lead to arrests across the municipal district of Greenview. There have been 28 reported instances of break and enter or trespass with 12 individuals arrested. RCMP have also arrested one person in connection to a fire scare in Grand Prairie Monday. Large flames broke out near the hospital in what officials say is suspected arson. There's some active investigations in regards to potential uh, suspicious starts. There is some good news in Drayton Valley, a town of about 7,000 where some of the residents have been allowed back home. For crews, including Canadian Armed Forces members helping to fight the wildfire near that community, burnout is a concern. We're still finding hot spots in the area of operations pretty continuously. The challenge at this point, honestly, is uh, there's a lot of uh, work to do for our soldiers, and so I'm really monitoring their well-being. This is a marathon and not a sprint. The Canadian Armed Forces, they have approximately 400 people deployed in to assist uh, the province in their response. RCMP members from BC, Saskatchewan and Manitoba are also in the province as the federal government looks beyond Canadian borders for further support to help protect communities like Fox Creek still socked in by smoke. Emergency Preparedness Minister Bill Blair says with a significant number of wildfires also burning in B.C., Saskatchewan and Northwest Territories, Ottawa is reaching out to countries who've supported Canada in the past, including the U.S., Mexico, Australia and New Zealand, for more help in a fight that could drag on all summer. Neetu Garcha, Global News, Fox Creek, Alberta.